Yeah, no, just leave dinner on the table. Okay, love you too. Bye-bye. Water to a community in Ethiopia changes life for men, women, and children. When you're not walking and waiting for water, you've got time to do all kinds of things. For instance, 30 year old Harifa Kiros makes and sells the lids that go on top of injera stoves. She used to make two in a day, but now that she has access to clean water, she has enough time to make four. Bam! Just doubled her income. Tatalu Teferi learned how to make gorgeous hand woven baskets from her parents growing up but hardly had time to work on them before. Now it's a hobby that's part of every afternoon. A hobby, you guys, I love that. Nine-year-olds like Masho and Hadisi can help their families collect water with ease now, which means so much more time for school. These two right here, a future doctor and a teacher. Hairstylist Tadalu has enough time for five appointments every day. Not only is she earning income for her family, She's making women throughout her entire community look and feel more beautiful than ever before. Yeah, I got in on that. Tiggs Diabreja has five children, plus cows, sheep, chickens, and a donkey. It's a huge family. And now she has time to take better care of each and every one of them. Tastier meals, cleaner clothes, more frequent baths. Mother of the year. There are 140 families in Mayomari village, and so many of them have stories like this. Even though they've only had access to clean water for two months, they've already seen new opportunities, more income, and significantly better health. The people we talked to raved about all kinds of things, from the water being closer to home or easier to collect, to stomach problems going away, food tasting better, and kids getting more baths. But the best part comes from knowing that for 700 people, drinking water from this contaminated, frog-filled water source is a thing of the past. <laughs> impressive greeting. When we arrived in Mayomari, everybody came to greet us. They were singing and dancing. I asked our translator what they were singing, and he said, We had a dream, and now that dream has come true. I know that you know that your fundraising makes a significant impact, but I hope that you also know that it is at such an individual level. Access to clean water for any single person means a new life. And on behalf of all 700 people in Mayumari, I just want to say thank you for that. Dramatic turn. Hello. Well, hello. And I don't know what I'm doing. But Ken, I am capable of this. Hold on. Well, hello.